Hello everybody, this is Video Lancer. Today I will show you how to create similar effects of face scanning quickly in After Effects. To do this task, we will use the presets from the new third version of my package, AE Face Tools. You can see about face tools in details in this video review. By the way, most presets I will show you today are available for free. You can find the download link in the description to this video. Well, let's start. As an example, we will use this video with two faces. Using Ellipse tool, outline the first face and make tracking with detailed features. Select a frame in which the head has a frontal view with minimal facial expressions. Click Set Rest Pose and then Extract and Copy Face Measurements in Tracker Panel. Now everything is ready to use any preset from the Face Tools library. But as there are two persons here, we have to track the second face additionally. It should be done on the additional layer. So call this layer Face 1 and duplicate it. Remove all tracking data, including the mask, on layer Face 2. Now repeat all the tracking steps for the second face. This layer is required only for using tracking data, so its display can be switched off. Go to the Starter Package Face Tools in Motion Bro panel and choose the category Detection. There are different presets of geometric grids, HUD elements, as well as scanning effects. First, let's add this scanning effect on the first face. Select the layer Face 1 and apply the preset. In order, the effects included into the preset have no influence on performance. Cut the preset layer in this frame. Now add the similar effect on the second face. Select Face 2 layer and apply the preset. Now this scanning effect appear on both faces at the same time, but we can shift the beginning of the animation on the second face. To do this, just shift the preset layer to the frame from which the animation should start. Also reduce the duration of the layer up to this frame. Now, for the first face, let's add a geometric grid. For example, this one. Beginning of the animation can be shifted to the frame when scanning effect is completed. If it's necessary, you can adjust the thickness and color of the grid. To do this, open the preset composition and change these parameters on the settings layer. For the second face, let's add a combination of a few simple grids. So select the Face 2 layer and add presets from this category. Now let's put them behind each other with a little overlapping so that they are not displayed at the same time. You can complete grid sequence animation with this preset. In order to change lines thickness, as on the first face simultaneously, select all the layers with grid presets. Go to Tools in Motion Bro panel and here, click Link with Master Scene. Select this layer as Master Scene. Now all the settings of the grid from this composition will be repeated in all the others. Next, let's add some more additional HUD elements. Use this preset for the first face. Shift it a little along the timeline so that the animation starts later. In this preset, you can change layout. To do this, open the preset composition. In order to shift or scale the layout, use this group null. Besides, the layout can move together with the tracked face. For this purpose, switch on this checkbox on the settings layer. To change a text, Open Holder Composition and edit these text layers. In this holder, you can add the sequence of several photos with faces in order to add the effect of person identification. Let's add some other HUD element for the second face. For example, this one. 
Mouth position is tracked and stabilized in this preset. Using it, you can create a fake effect of speech analysis. So shift the preset layer a little along the timeline. Open the preset composition and then open this holder. Here, replace this text. Go back to the preset composition. This layer displays a sound wave, and if your video includes sound, just select face layer in this list. Well, that is all I wanted to show you today. Subscribe to my channel not to miss new videos and products for motion design. That was Video Lancer. See you later.